Hi, it's Leslie, Married at First Sight. Then we're gonna talk about Becca and Austin. And I'm thinking Austin may be the one of the worst guys we've ever had on this show. And I'm gonna tell you why. He is like a new kind of low kind of guy because you know, we've had asshole guys that treat whoever likes shit and all this, but Austin in front of the camera acts one way and then behind the camera acts another. Let's get into it. Poor Becca, she needs to just find her voice and her strength and just get out of this and leave Austin. You know, for weeks we were led on thinking they were the couple to beat, that they had this perfect relationship because that's what they presented. And now here's Becca. There have been moments where like, I seriously don't know if he likes me, like when we're off camera, like he has definitely said he likes me, but it's a matter of like showing it. And I think like when we're on camera, he does a really good job of showing it. And then I think when we're off camera, it's just not as much. When you hear statements like that, it makes me sick to my stomach. He's just playing her. Everybody's more concerned with how they look on TV. Like, where do they find these people? I just don't understand what's in it for Austin to be faking it like this. I mean, just so that you can get through the six or eight weeks or whatever it is. And he says, he says to Becca this. You just need like trust what I say and like when I, when I do say those things. Um... No, we don't trust what you say. It's called actions speak louder than words and your actions are totally, you know, I think of all the times that he kisses her and I'm sitting there thinking, I thought that was just for the camera. You're assuming like, is he really kissing her, kissing her behind the scenes? I'm thinking not, you know? Cause anybody can peck anybody on the lips and make it look like you're all like affectionate and all the things, which I think that he's doing. He's doing nothing behind the scenes. I am, Austin is the worst, but he continually tries to just like console Becca and, and, let her know that he really does like her. Well, I do like you in that type of way. And I'm sorry I'm not good at expressing it to you. Not buying it. Anyway, Pastor Cal. Pastor Cal, they, the poor, these poor experts, they got their hands full this year. Poor Pastor Cal comes in there and he's like, he kind of says to them, says to them this. You know, the Pastor Kyle said when we had that uh, expert meeting was that we need to, like, trust in, like, the little things and that, like, our intentions in everyday conversation is for the better for the other one. Yeah, he says trust in the little things because you know what? You don't have the big things. So he's trying to say, like, oh, you know, don't don't jump ship, Becca. You know, you got to at least say we got to have somebody say yes on decision. We got to some, have somebody get to decision day because the way it's looking, I don't even know if there's going to be anybody, any but couple sitting there, you know. But anyway, cause, thank God for Chloe and Michael. But anyway, they won't be there on decision day because they'll be still doing their thing. But Pastor Cal is just like, oh, no, no, trust the little things. It's not the big things. We don't care about all that stuff. It's the little things um, because you don't have any big things. So just stick it out. Stick it out. And this weird little, you know, they go to the pottery thing with the cameras, you know, so Austin's on his best behavior because now we're hip to it. And Becca is just wrecked. Like, she's wrecked. Like, he, he, what he's done to her is awful. Like, I just, you know, it, just being truthful. Why isn't truthful the right thing? And, and anyway, you know, and the whole thing that she was cold and she wanted to put on his jacket and she put it on. He was like, I wish you would wash your hands. Like, He's got a nasty side, which I think she's been seeing all the time behind the scenes and we have not been privy to. Combative. And boy, did that hit a nerve when she said he was combative. And it's just so sad. Becca's just broken and she's just continually saying, I'm so sad. I'm, I'm so sorry that I'm making you look bad. Like she realizes that it, that's like her job. And if she doesn't make him look good, he's never going to like her. And it's just so sad. She needs to like get out of this. She's worth so much more than just trying to make someone look good on TV, you know, but I guess when it comes down is just Austin does not like how Becca makes him look on TV, but everything was fine. And, and, it, and we all thought everything was great until Becca opened her mouth in that little session and said, he's different. He's different behind the scenes and he's kind of combative. And combative, it's like, ooh, any guy doesn't want to be tagged as combative. And that was the turning point for Austin that pissed him off. Like, words you used to describe for sure any I've ever been described as never been called these things. I don't know how to understand that it feels like that because like those words, That's all he's concerned with. And it's just so sad because Becca's so in deep. I mean, she's like, still, as he treats her like this, 
wants to stay with him. I want to say yes on decision day because he is telling me that what's actually us up is the cameras. And I do love Austin. Like, I think he is making our world a better place. I mean, oh my God, Becca, you can do so much better. Then came the turning point. Becca went her way, Austin went his way, and they met with their friends. And thank God for friends, because they kind of set them on the right track. Tried to, and told Austin, you know what? You can't live like this. It's no good. And Becca too. And they returned he, from seeing their friends. And Austin packed up and left. Hallelujah. We have a lot of mass exodus this week. You know what? I don't know who's going to show up on decision day, because we're going to know all the decisions. But, you know, actually I'm holding out hope for uh, for Cameron and uh, Claire. Because you never know. You never know. At least they're civil and they're honest with each other, which nobody else is. And Becca just left uh, to wonder this. Him being so concerned about the optics makes me question the reality of our relationship. Because if what he's so focused on now is the optics of our relationship, like... How do I not know that how he's been acting this entire time has been to make the optics look good? You're right, Beck. I have to agree with you. I question everything, too. I think he's a player, too, and they didn't vet him enough, and he was just there to look good and do whatever, be on TV. Anyway, I follow this nonsense every week, even though I'm questioning following this nonsense going forward, but I follow it every week for now, and if you want to follow along, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and if you made it this far to the end of the video, please hit the like button, help me out. Anyway, I will see you next week. Decision day! Woop woop! Bye.